My apologies to those who clicked on my banana filled thumbnail because you guys thought that we were gonna talk about dicks. That's not true. Eggplants are the emojis for dicks. Like, do you know what's going on? Quack. Good morning everyone, welcome to my room. It's like 10 p.m. no 10 a.m. in Korea. I just woke up, that's why I can't even speak. And my face is probably super puffy. Anyway, today's video is gonna be about being bananas in Korea. So for those of you who don't know what a banana means, it's a racist term to call Asians who act white. So a banana is yellow outside and white inside, right? So for people like me who are Asian and yellow outside and think white inside, whatever that means, we are called bananas. So it is very racist, but me and my friends just make it funny, so we call each other bananas. We're just like, hey yo, what's up banana, nice to see you today. But if you're white, you can't call us bananas. That's very racist. It's a beautiful day outside and I am meeting my friend in a place called Gyeonggi Sansukgil, which is like Korea's Central Park because it's right next to this big city with like towers and just like in the next lane there is this park. I'm gonna be meeting my friend Taeyeon who has lived in the States for 10 years, which is a proper qualifications for being a banana. <laughs> So Korea is a very homogenous society and people can be very close-minded sometimes because we're not used to seeing people that are different. And to a lot of people, being able to speak English or being familiar with another culture is very new to them. When I've lived in Australia, it's like such a melting pot of community. Like no matter what ethnicity or what mixture of culture you belong to, no one judges you or no one thinks that it's weird. But in Korea, it can be quite a big deal. There are definitely some judgment about being a banana. Since I am meeting with a banana friend, I thought that it's gonna be really fun to talk about. Quack. So I was the only person in my elementary school to have lived abroad for that long yeah. period. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't know about the whole Tunde thing. That was, and so I just said their name. Mm, like for example, if you're my son, I just said, Oh, I heard that Taoni did da da da. Yeah, but you should say in Korean. I should say Tombe, right? Somebody got ticked off about that and Obviously. they told them and they were in gym class and they came back and they were like, Susanna! So I had to go so up to scary. the balcony and then, yeah, I cried my eyes. I was so, I was terrified. Why, what, what did they say? How dare you? Zunkaro. <laughs> but here's the thing, I didn't know what that meant. So joke. <laughs> I heard Gun, I did not know what Gara meant, so I didn't do it, and that pissed them off even more. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right? And so, when I was in middle school, the first day, I was uh, I brought my Harry Potter book to read at recess. Oh my god. <laughs> I did that. In English. I did I I was obsessed with Percy Jackson. And I would I would Percy bring the, the oh my goodness. Anyway. Yeah, and like I would read it and apparently some girls thought that I was Exactly. Like, exactly. Like, I mean, they think you're snobby if you're part of Korea. Like, let's be honest. Yeah, because I, I was a nerd and a banana. That's not a good combination. <laughs> not a good combo. <laughs> Most of my friends are bananas. Yeah, exactly. So and it's, it's uh, <laughs> and that's another thing. Bananas usually hang, hang out, out with, with bananas. bananas. <laughs> as you can see, we end up. Meeting only groups. bananas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you're good at English, you're gonna go to a certain school and a certain right. major and right. gonna hang out with similar people. Right. For me, I feel like I'm most myself when I'm with actual bananas. Exactly. They get me. Exactly. And that is why outside people think that we're like zombie and we just wanna hang out with ourselves. But it's not about that. It's about having the same life experience. And obviously, you're gonna feel closer with those people. I feel like people are judging me even though they might not be. She was telling me that in her major, she has to critique other people in Korean because they only speak Korean right. and she gets brain yeah. farts and then you just get insecure I get insecure like, uh, I know it in English, I know it in English I usually want to say it in English but I can't because yeah. they'll judge me they'll think I'm like being pretentious they'll think yeah, I'm dumb. exactly. Think if you suddenly speak English like this they're mm. like, oh, she's flexing on us mm. she thinks she's special because she lived abroad but we feel uncomfortable talking about it with other people because we know it's a privilege yeah, of but course then Basically, English education in Korea is shit. So if you've just been in Korea, your English is gonna Usually. probably gonna be bad. So people who speak English as fluently as us probably lived overseas for a period of time. For others, like most Koreans, 
that seems like a privilege. And and it is, but they'll definitely judge. Also, we become insecure that they can't speak English with us. Mm. Because when we're hanging out with each other, we just switch back and forth. And then they feel like they're not in the group. Right. And also, like, it's also them. But also, I, I feel like people are judging me even though me, they might not be. And I just feel so uncomfortable. Like, I'm just like worried that I'm going to forget a word in English. It's like a vicious cycle. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. It's so. But we're totally cool to hang out with Korean Koreans. Yeah, it's not we hate that. I've just never, I just never had the chance. Yeah. Thank you. Do you like being a banana? Yeah, I, I think there are more perks than disadvantages. Again, like, I mean, I'm going to two languages. I can, I am able to understand two cultures. I didn't like being a banana because I felt like there was like so many problems that I have to deal with and I have to explain myself. And I felt like I didn't fit in with mm. West and in Korea. Like I oh felt my like goodness. I was half blood in both of the places. Mm. That's really or... sad though. It's like you don't feel like you fit in the place you grew up. Yeah. But then you don't fit in the country where you are now. So it's like, okay, then where do I go? But thankfully there are fellow bananas. And Korea is very like totally different from like Australia or wherever mm. where they accept you being different. Their culture at least accepts me being bilingual or whatever. Like they're not weirded out that I can speak Korean. Exactly! But in Korea they're weirded out that you can speak English. English. I'm not angry at those people, like they can't help it. They've never, you know, been outside of the country. And they have like yeah. prejudices. Oh, you're a banana, so you must be like this, this, this. You and must everything be... you do is because you live in the States. For example, yeah. like I get so yeah. much like shit for this country. And like, no, I, I got it in Korea. Like I got everything here in Korea. That's a white girl thing. So, not anymore though. It okay. started there. Sometimes like it's like in Korean, right? You use like, there's like there's like Conglish, right? So mm -hmm. example, it's like I'll say that, but I don't know if that's a correct Conglish. Yeah, oh my god. I had this word and <laughs> I didn't know like I said and had I knew they wouldn't say and had the way. I knew yeah, it was like a Korean nice version. What is it? So way. So way. I learned that now, but I was like and had way. And I was same because like Hermione. And I didn't know. Yeah, exactly. So I was. Mm. And Korean people won't get you if you say it in the original pronunciation. You have to know the Koreanized version. Would you say you're more comfortable around Western people that speak English? Like culturally, yeah. it's easier to start a conversation with them. I'll say that, but like keeping it up is also kind of a struggle because I'm just again I'm used to my bananas. I'm used to switch. Also, you are most adaptable with bananas. <laughs> There's like 1% of bananas in the whole exactly. Korea. Exactly, that's why I'm fucked, y'all. <laughs> A recommendation is Thirsty Party Bar in Hongsae. Or any bar in Itaewon. It's a lot of foreigners in Itaewon too. So if you go there as a foreigner, you would be able to mm -hmm. get a conversation right. going. Whereas if you're in like Seoul anywhere and you try to strike up a conversation, it, it won't work. Yeah. Also, you can do an exchange student in right. like a English major or international relations right. major, and they will always be bananas there. There will always be a banana there. A <laughs> banana. <laughs> This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. We had such a fun day. It was actually pretty therapeutic to talk about. And we found a cat. And we had nice food right next to the park. Um, so it was really nice for us as well. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and leave any questions if you have down in the comment section so me and Sayan can answer it. Annyeong!